All right, Catherine. So we're talking about success stories from the world's most successful people because we both have dealt with so many people. And one of the one of the giants that you've been able to work with is Robert Kiyosaki. So can you tell us maybe one of his success principles? For sure. So it's something that I learned from Robert many years ago, and it's put me in really good stead over time. And I shared it with somebody just in the past week is that Robert had this amazing ability to treat each thing that he was doing with, in his life with great importance. And he used to give the example, you know, people focus a lot on their business and they want their business to grow. But what about their personal finances? What about their investments? What about their family? What about their health? So he used to bring to the table a real focused energy in regard to those things that were important to him. For so many of us, we can primarily focus on just one thing. We might want to focus on our family or focus on our finances or focus on our health. But it's about being able to bring that attention into things that are important to us and to the ones that we love. Um, yeah, so often we can just push things aside and go, oh, I'll get to it later. But Robert was an absolute champion at being able to go, you know what, this is important. I need to bring it front and centre. And I think for all of us, we need to be able to do that, see those areas that are important to our life and go, am I giving this enough energy and attention? So I learned that from Robert, gosh, over 25 years ago, and I've used that principle and shared that principle with many people. And it's been incredibly valuable. And it's just one of many things that he did to support himself in that process of creating the success that he had and also to making the contribution that he makes to the world. So just two days ago, I was with a client who had brought a client of theirs in that I was working with. And they were in a place where they really wanted to make change. And they were like, you know, I go for my morning walks. I'm up at five o'clock. You know, I meditate. I listen to my podcasts. I, and the list was so long. And I just sat there and said, if you want to start to make some change, stop what you're doing. So many of us are overwhelmed. We're getting information from so many different sources. So I said to this person, literally two days ago, stop reading the books, stop listening to your podcasts, stop your meditation, stop trying to consume so much. There's a little beautiful thing which is called inflow and outflow. And it's a really powerful principle and I want you to listen really closely here. So many of us are consuming. We're on that inflow. We've got so much information coming into us and we've got very little action in the outflow. We're trying lots of things, but it's like, pew, 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 pew. you know, it's just like a rattling gun going off. So guys, first step outside of breathing, which I will always say forever no day, is stop consuming, stop reading the book, stop listening to the podcasts. Just be able to give yourself the time to draw breath and go, what's important for me? And what's the one thing that I know that if I actually did, would turn the needle on my life. And because the truth of the matter is, we do know. We just often don't tell ourselves the truth. So what's the one thing that I could change? If I turned that needle, everything would change. So you might have, you know, 324 things that you want to change in your life or 324 things you want to do and create. Stop. One thing. Just one thing. Stop consuming and then start to get into some sort of action, no matter where you are at. When you have some kind of an action, one focused action, you've got outflow. You bring equilibrium back into your energetic field, your emotional field, your mental field. So as I say, stop consuming, stop all this inflow. There is so much available to us. You know, so many people in this world are in overwhelm. And it's because they actually just are literally consuming too much, too much information. Stop. Be kind to yourself. Move forward no matter where you're at without any judgment and without any expectation around where you'll go. You'll have a focus. You'll have an intention. Just do your damnedest. Find one thing. Turn the needle. Change your life. Awesome.